just arrived to Montauk. Well, I just arrived, Brooke and Katie. The other gals I'm sharing this house with have been here for a day. I'm just now arriving and the house is even better than I think we all imagined. We got an Airbnb out in Montauk for two weeks. I've been to the Hamptons once. I've never been to Montauk, so I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to be here with some of my really good friends. And I'm just, I'm just so happy and I'm so thankful. So I've been hanging out with them for a little bit and I was like, okay, I have to do a house tour. They were like, we kept the house clean for you so you could like do the tour. They know me so well. <laughs> so we're just gonna get started. There's three of us girls here and we have a fourth extra bedroom um, and like, Ryan and Ben will be coming here this weekend some of our friends visiting so it's perfect. I'm so excited. Let's start So here we are walking in. I'm like literally geeking. You guys are gonna die. I'm gonna turn left first because <laughs> I'm sorry, is this the one hotel like excuse me like <laughs> I mean, we knew we liked it in the photos, but it, they didn't show like every inch of every room. I mean, down to the detail of these chairs, this dining table is stunning. This fireplace, these chairs, this is stunning. Like on a winter day, how nice would that be? <laughs> I don't know about in the summer. This is the living room. They have Samsung frame TVs throughout the whole house, which are so cool. Just love this and then I mean, this is reminding me of my apartment and we already know how happy I am about this. A restoration hardware cloud couch. As soon as I got here, I jumped on. <laughs> um, I love the little plants back there. A little surfer photo. This table, the coffee table, beautiful windows. I mean, everything about this is just so well done. She did such a good job with this space. Not to mention the ceilings. I love those beams and just everything. Everything. I'm still taking things in. I love all the artwork everywhere. Here is the kitchen. We actually plan to chef up a little bit for sure. Um, it's a beautiful long little countertop here. They already went and got some groceries. So cute of them. Oh, I love it. I love the blue detail. They have an espresso here. So you guys already know I ordered some, oops, some decaf pods um, to come our way. Ooh, I like that too. Brooke, some. Um, out there doing work. They're both working right now. Oh, she's about to read. I love that for her. And then over here, I've got another dining table. Oh, some sunflowers. I wonder if they got those, if they were here. This is terrifying. It's like real candles, which I think is gorgeous, but I, we decided we're probably not gonna light those because scary. Here's a living room area as well. I just realized there's two living rooms. <laughs> um, gorgeous. We love it. They also, they brought some games. I also brought some games to play, which is gonna be so fun. And then we'll backtrack a little bit here. There's the front door. Here's the first bedroom that none of us are in right now. Um, I think the family that owns it has a child. So that's cute. And then here are the bedrooms. So here is my room. I love it. And then the bathroom is huge. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's echoing in here but I love all the counter space. Very, very thrilled about that. This is the shower. And then we're in this little hallway. So this is, so we did a um, online generator <laughs> to see who got the master bedroom. Oh my gosh, this is my first time seeing it. This is stunning. Brooke got it. I'm very happy for her. Wow, this is gorgeous. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, I told her, I was like, I'm coming to take photos in this mirror. This is so cute. Oh, the bathroom. Little bathtub. Oh, Brooke does love a good bath, so I love that for her. And a shower. Cool. Then back here, we've got Katie. She's working away. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to my crib. Welcome to my, I still need to unpack. <laughs> this is, this is amazing. You look so cute. We love it here so much. And then I guess I'll show you guys out back. I think that's all for inside. It's a lot bigger than we thought and just so stunning. Oh, hello there. Hello there. I feel like I'm filming Vogue 73 questions. Oh What's your first question? What book are you reading right now? Things you never got over by Lucy's score. Oh my gosh. And what's something that you wish you could tell your younger self? No, kidding. <laughs> Wow, I really feel like I'm filming the Vogue 20 or 73 questions. Yes, I show. I um, am just so obsessed with this backyard, you guys. Like, oh, 
We must, we must be coastal grands out here. Yeah. I mean, the hydrangeas, they asked us to water them and we were like, obviously. Of course, like, say less. Say less. Also, found this out yesterday, that there is an outdoor shower. If you guys remember my Jersey Shore vlog, my friend had one and I was like obsessed. Showering, listening to the birds. <laughs> I love it, they have products out here and everything. Oh, there's a little CeraVe in here, Brooke. Really? Yeah, a little CeraVe, love that. Love a post pool outdoor shower. And then these are the grounds. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the Welcome property. <laughs> yeah, this is clearly well kept and we will keep it this way. I mean, it is seriously gorgeous. The grass feels so good on my feet. Oh my gosh. This is the pool. We will be out here a lot. Oh, I just realized there's an umbrella out here. They have chairs in the pool. Then they have these fountains going, these other beautiful lounge chairs. We actually got some fun boy floats, but they already have one too. So that's pretty cool. It's the view of the house from the back. This area is the last little area I haven't seen myself. It's a little bonfire, a little fire pit. Only two chairs though, but very, very, very cute. Needless to say, this place is stunning. I'm so, so beyond grateful to be here. We've been talking about this for many, many months now. We booked this, I think last fall. So, happy to be here. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna unpack a little bit, take some photos, and then Brooke and I are recording Gals on the Go podcast here, live from Montauk, so. The girls are out back, they're reading, they're laying out in the sun for a little bit. I'm gonna head to my room and do a little bit of unpacking. I wanna try and hang up as many things as I can because I do have a full closet and we are gonna be here for two weeks. I'm so bad at unpacking, I typically don't. Like when I stay at a hotel and stuff, Ryan will take all of his drawers and just put everything in and I just like get lazy, so. I also wanna say the way I got out to Montauk, I decided to take a car because I had a lot of stuff. It would've been, a, it would, it, I wouldn't have been able to do it, just one person on the train. Um, so I decided to take a car because I was gonna ride in Brooke and Katie's car Car, but they came a day earlier. Anyways, I want to give a huge shout out to Black Lane. I've used Black Lane before on my own and they found out about my channel and they wanted to give me a ride to Montauk, which I'm so thankful for. And Black Lane is truly amazing. They're not paying me to say this. I seriously love what they do. It's so easy to set up. The chauffeurs are so kind, so accommodating. They'll stop if you need to pee, you know, obviously. But just, he was just very kind. He made me feel very welcome and it was such a comfortable car um and i do have a code for you guys if you want to try it out it's definitely nice especially if you know you have a longer drive or going to the airport and you just want to know you have a car danielle 15 for 15 percent off i'll have a link below for you guys to check it out but thank you black lane very much i love this little surfboard wall art here we're gonna head to my room and attempt to start unpacking i need to charge my phone um, but yeah, this is the big suitcase I brought. This is the closet. Yep, looks like I'm gonna be able to hang some things up. There's a good amount of hangers. Um, and then I also have this duffel full, I mean like full of just stuff. I've got my toiletries, I brought my ice roller, I need to put that in the freezer. I brought like full size shampoo and stuff because obviously we weren't flying and I'm gonna be here for a minute. Um, you know, all my hair tools, everything like that, my toiletries, it's all in here. So I'm gonna get to unpacking. I'll probably find a podcast or something. I quite literally just unpacked my whole entire suitcase and the huge duffel. I mean, if I'm gonna be here for two weeks, might as well like make it as home as possible. I mean, this is legit empty, which will be great. I can just hide this in here. Um, so I used all the hangers and I basically just kind of made did made made did oh my god I made do so I put like you know three dresses here together. This is the set a few more dresses on this hanger a few more dresses here The thing is I'm probably not even gets all these clothes because we'll be in bathing suits a lot But it's Montauk, you know, you just have to dress it up Enjoy it, you know have all the options Then I found this like little foldy thing, I think for suitcases or something. I don't really know. So I put all of my other tops here, pants, jeans here, and then other dresses and skirts there that didn't get hangers. And then my shoes are down there. And then here I've got all of my bags. Actually, I have one more. Well, obviously this tote bag, but I just got this bag from Bob Orr Collection. I have a couple of their other bags and they're so cute. That one has like my current stuff in it. 
But yeah, and then I put my three bucket hats and my infamous trucker hat that I, you guys know I love so much. Um, so yeah, these are the bags I brought for the trip. I thought this would be good if we go for a little hot girl walk or something. Got my beach bag over here. Put all my sunglasses and, you know, accessories. I got this hair bow and I kind of just want to have a moment with that. These are some accessories for my hair. And then... <laughs> Here I've got all my bathing suits and all my cover-ups all in a drawer. I never do this you guys And then here I have like t-shirts to sleep in comfy sweatshirt sweatpants Exercise dress and then like my little tiny tops I call them like tiny tees and then I have like workout sets back there if I get to working out And then I left the bottom drawer because Ryan's coming on the weekend and he has this thing about having like one drawer to like put his shit in So that's what that's for and yeah and then Obviously here I just have all of my stuff and there, these drawers are empty so I put my hair stuff in there. Like this is, I have more room than I even need. Oh, I even brought this Lily Pulitzer robe because I wanted to lean into it. I like to get ready in robes so I thought I'd bring this. Guys, the Tobo Chico truck just delivered. If you guys remember my stagecoach vlog, they also came. They really hooked it up. These are literally my favorite thing in the world. Did you get a minis one, Katie? Uh, we could put the mini, like these oh, are. No, we could just put these in the fridge. Yeah. Guys, also, Spritz hooked it up, and we do love to see it. We're out here, like, really getting after it right now. Wow, <laughs> it looks so can, good. You need to crack open a cold one after a long time. I know, it needs to get cold. About to do a apartment tour via FaceTime. Let's see how it goes. Live from New York, it's gals on the go. <laughs> We're getting set up here. We've got... The mics, if you don't listen to Gals in the Go podcast already, go listen. New episodes every Wednesday. I'll show you guys my whole dinner fit after we record. Oh, I need to blend my bronzer a little bit. That's what natural sunlight is for. Um, I'm so excited to record here. New recording space, new inspiration. Then we're headed to dinner at Gurney's. We're going to the restaurant called Scarpetta. Um, but I'll show you guys the full look after we record. We just finished recording at Gals on the Go. It's a great episode. It's really funny. Um, we talk about all the different eras that we are in in our current life, like multiple eras. Um, and like the last two weeks, we just catch up, talking about Montauk, all the things. I want to show you guys my outfit. How am I going to do that? There's like no full length mirrors. Okay. Wearing this set, it's from Revolve. I'll link it below. It's from the Camilo Calejo collection little midi skirt moment with this top. I love the open back. And then I'm wearing these little baby heels from Ray the Label. And then this bag I was showing you guys earlier from the Bob Orr collection. We're going to Scarpetta, which is at the Gurney's Resort. I do believe it's Italian. Good way to kick it off. I'm so excited because today's been like, okay, unpack. Now we record. Now this. I did a FaceTime apartment tour. And the apartment tour was actually pretty good, but the living room was like really small. And if you guys listen to the podcast, you know I ordered a new couch, a bigger one. And I don't even know if it would fit. So it's okay. But yeah, this is the fit. We're about to go to dinner. The gals are here. Assemble. We're ready to go. Ready for dinner. Ready for dinner. <laughs> Let's go. We're walking to dinner. Hopefully we don't get too lost. You guys look so cute. I see her just like on poles. Like we're literally just on old Montauk Highway headed to Gurney's. Will they get lost? Find out soon if this vlog goes up. just started laughing so hard it was so funny like it was just then we just came back sat on the couch and just chilled for a little bit it was a great first day i decided to really just unpack at this point and take everything out of all of my like cosmetic toiletry bags and i'm just really happy I got my eye patches my hair stuff my eye, my roller i put my ice roll in the freezer all of my different like skincare lotion tanning stuff tweezers you know makeup wipes i'm feeling very very accomplished <laughs> um but about to head to bed i feel like i'm about to get really good sleep because it's so quiet here compared to the city 
The fan is on. Sleeping with the fan on is just elite. Like, I don't have a fan in my apartment, but having that fan going, it's like white noise and then also just like so calming. So, anyways, great first day. Tomorrow, we're gonna get groceries in the morning and then we're having a pool day and who knows what else. So, see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Oh yeah, I think if we both wore the pink. Brooke yeah, and I are running Karen yesterday. Right. Or two days ago, good morning. Aaron girlies. We woke up, Brooke is like, Danielle, I know you get hungry when you wake up. Let's go get you some food. Well, did you eat yet? No. How are you okay right now? <laughs> I've gotten better, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, well, because if I drink coffee, it lasts me for a second. Did you drink coffee? No. Oh. But like, it's really <laughs> like, If I drink coffee, I'm like, I'm like did you drink coffee? <laughs> I can last till like 10 a.m. typically. Oh. Yeah, that's oh, so okay. nice of you. No, I just remember but the I'd old like Daniel where it was like literally like I, timer starts, like I have 15 <laughs> I minutes, wake yeah. up, I need food. Yeah, now I'm like, I try to like leisure a little bit with the coffee, but I want coffee and I want it, this is fine. I'm fine I get to perfect. get um, let's after head out. it. It's got literally our right in town. Outfits, mm -hmm. got my Lulu little thing. Feeling like a Hamptons girly. I'm joking, by the way. Hamptons, what'd you say? I said feeling like a Hamptons girly. Oh, Mine yes. is like, doesn't really match, but it fits all of my doodads, you know? <laughs> Let's go run some errands. Oh. All right, coffee is got. We went to Hampton Coffee Co. Just had my first good. sip of decaf coffee. It was pretty good. I think we need to go to Montauk Bake Shop next because there's a line and I feel like yeah, that's places you know. have lines. Yeah, It's gotta be good. Yeah, so we're gonna go to IGA now, get some groceries. I'm gonna get the ingredients to make cowboy caviar to have and just like some breakfast stuff because they already like, thank you for taking me grocery shopping. They already Oh, of course. Did. Well, Katie and I are like not really cooks. <laughs> I mean, me neither. There's just, I like to make breakfast. Yeah, we, so we got like, the, like prepared. Oop, oop, safety first. Uh, but yeah, so and uh, we just talked about it on Brooks vlog so go watch but I thought we couldn't drink the water in the house So I've been Sorry. literally like <laughs> to, Like wanting water and Brooks like oh you could like have some it's just like we should probably get some some drugs <laughs> So yes. we're gonna go get some water all the things and then go back and I think today's like a chill by the pool kind of day. I think so too. I have to get a little work done. I'm sure you do too. Oh yes, yes. I need to get it's my like video up. It's a little bit like outdoor work. Yes, yeah. yes. That's what this whole trip is. <laughs> I know. All right, I'm not gonna do a grocery haul because we started putting a lot of it away and it's like a lot of the stuff to make cowboy caviar. Got like eggs, um, got like some mozzarella and tomatoes to do like caprese one night or like for a lunchy snack. Got some mac and cheese because you just sometimes might need that late night. Of course, had to get baby carrots for my fireball. What else are highlights? Um, yeah, pretty much everything else for cowboy caviar. Brook, rookie cookie, got some cookies. <laughs> okay, I, you know I think that's last great. Night, I was like craving sweet. Yeah, no, I mean it's amazing. And did you know cookies like if, like if it starts to smell weird in here, you bake cookies. Yes, so true. Yep, and I got like just some deli meat, you know. <laughs> Katie and I are here doing lots of work, and um, we just decided we're gonna we're gonna work out on this trip. Yes, we are. We are girls who work out on vacation. Yes, never have been before. <laughs> but our amazing trainer Jane offered to do Zoom sessions with us, and just like little thirty-minute ones, just like some conditioning, just so we like you know feel good get and just, our hearts pump or blood pumping heart yeah rate up. like it's just good for the soul yeah because we're doing a lot of Brooke keeps saying the word sedentary things or we're just like sitting and lounging which is awesome but i think it'd be a good start to the day yeah no, i i always feel so much better after i just like get yeah. moving even in a small way like nothing insane like we're not even doing weights exactly exactly so we're gonna so today's wednesday tomorrow thursday and friday we're gonna do 30 minute workouts with her and then next week Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we're gonna do workouts. These are just on Zoom. 
and then next Tuesday and Thursday, we're gonna do hot girl walks. So we're gonna get some of them in every day, just like something little. So hopefully this inspires you guys to just do like something. It doesn't have to be working out with the trainer. We're just like obsessed with her and like can't stay away from her. Yeah. Um, Cause she gets us motivated. And it's fun when Katie and I work out together. Cause she'll probably, like you said, probably have us do like, if you guys watch my vlogs, you see us do these. We're gonna hold hands. Yeah, before. like do planks holding hands. High five. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm excited. Um, so I'd update you guys. And I think I'm gonna make the cowboy caviar soon and then put my bathing suit on. Cause I don't wanna like make the cowboy caviar when like it's prime UV. Yeah. You know? Don't take it's that probably already. Yourself. Let's see what the UV is right now. It's probably seven. Ooh, it's and it was 10 days. yesterday, you said? So it was 10 at like 4 p.m. yesterday. So I can't even imagine what it was at the, the peak sun. Time. Oh my gosh. I know. Wowzer. All right, guys, it's time to make the cowboy caviar. There wasn't a big enough bowl for me to do a double, which is fine though, because I can just make like a second batch next week or something, or maybe this week, depending on how far we go through it. Um, I'm gonna show you guys everything you put in. There's literally no instructions other than putting it all in a bowl and then making this little liquid mixture, but this is the recipe I'm using. It's my family's recipe. So we use, um, I use cherry tomatoes, just easier to cut. Might also get into these tomatoes as well, but I saved some of those for the caprese that I wanna make. Um, one onion, eight garlic cloves, lime juice, cilantro, as much as you want really. Um, typically black eyed peas, but they didn't have any, so we went for the white beans, corn, black beans. It's really, really simple, and you just cut it all up. You can also add jalapeno. I couldn't find jalapeno at the store. And you can also add pepper. And I just didn't get any pepper because I'm mean. But um, then you do a half a cup of olive oil, half a cup of vinegar, and one packet of dry Italian dressing, like seasoning. You mix all that together and that's what makes it all taste so good. You mix it all together and then you just dip tortilla chips in it. Truly, truly amazing. And again, this is all to taste. Like you can add more tomatoes if you want. You can add more garlic if you want. You just like mince the garlic. Um, you can add more beans, like depending on what you want. Like when my grandma makes it, she loves black eyed peas. She does like a lot of black eyed peas. Like it's all for your own preference. So I'm just gonna get to chopping and prepping and then let it all soak and it'll be so yummy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I forgot how hard cutting onions is. I'm crying. It's getting so worse. All right, I'm almost done. I'm just chopping up more cilantro. Katie's gonna help me make the mixture, which is a half a cup of vinegar, half a cup of olive oil, and one packet of this. And then we mix it all together in here. Katie's my sous chef. Love this, it. this looks like a lot. It, it does look like a it's lot. Half. Hey guys, so everything is done being like everything's in the bowl prepared. Yeah, so now we just need to you guys can't see. Can we gonna hold it? Sure. Yeah, Let me be thank your you. tripod. Thank you. So now We will pour everything Katie so graciously helped me with. Oh, yeah, that's definitely enough. And then the most satisfying part is Mixing her all together and seeing all the color. Wait, this is beautiful. They say, and like I do agree, like after a few hours when you put it in the fridge and let all the juices soak in and the beans and stuff, it's tastier, but you can eat it right away. But it will be better once the juice soaks up. Oh. I think this is gonna be good. I haven't had it with white beans rather than kidney beans, or black eyed peas, but. I love white beans. Yeah, oh, they're, they're good, good protein. All right, I'm nervous. If you hate it, you can just spit it out. I'm not gonna hate it. I think I'm gonna taste, it. test. Okay, that was a horrible chip. I know, oh, I think the chips are breaking, no. It's heavy. Yeah, it is heavy. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my gosh, so good. What do you think? I like it, but. It is a flavor explosion. Right? It's like the perfect, like, wait. Oh my god, does she like it? I'm sorry, they need to make it, like, have this as ch at Chipotle as, like, an option for a topper. Oh my god, true. Like, imagine this on a burrito bowl. Mm-hmm. Mm. mm -hmm. I know they have the individual ingredients. They do. But imagine with this sauce, or whatever, what's the, um, the liquid part? Italian dressing, which I, I never knew. that's what does this. Like, it's obviously, these too. are all things that they would, like, have at a Chipotle, but, like, it's the dressing. All right, I just did another FaceTime apartment tour. I really, really liked this apartment, by the way. It has this like, I'll have to figure out a way to show you guys a photo. Has these um, like 
dining like a dining nook and it's like all these windows so i could put my circle table there and there was like a ton of closets it was one and a half bath like might be a good option i'm in brooke's room because she's the only one that has the full length mirror this is my bathing suit for the day it's the camila Kaleho one it's like my favorite bathing suit to wear when i'm tanning this cover-up though i'm obsessed it's from Revolve. I'll link it below. This bag is also from Revolve. I will also link it below. Katie's already by the pool. We're gonna head to the pool now. Where's your dress from? My dress is Free People. Oh, oh can you see it? Hello. Free People. Free People. It Love. gives you that like it's hourglass. It's so flattering. It gives, you, it gives you a little hip. Yeah, a little hip hip. Hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. No, I love it. It's so comfortable. I love it. My set is from Veronica Beard. We've just been out by the pool all day. And we're going to take some pictures because, I mean, look at us. Look at us. We're twinning. Look at us. Ah! Oh, we decided what we're going to name the house, didn't we? The yeah, BDK. I liked the the message. I think it's good. BDK take MTK. MTK. That's us. We'll use the use hashtag. the hashtag. Right? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> That'd be kind of strange if you all did. Sorry. Yeah. I'm so obsessed with it. Oh my god, I didn't even tell you guys. Um, our friend Kat Cam Artistry on Instagram. She's an amazing makeup artist. She's here for a couple days doing some jobs, and she asked if she could come stay a couple nights here, and we were so happy to have her because we love her. So she's inside. Uh, changing right now and yeah so you guys will see her soon love the girl so much and actually I literally almost got an apartment today because I'm crazy not crazy like I'm trying to find one but my friend Adam Adam Harrison he went and toured the apartment for me and I was like in between but there were just certain things I was like you know what I have time I'm gonna be picky so I didn't end up doing it and I'm happy about it there was just something I got saying like it's good it's good it's good but like no 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 so, just thought I'd tell you guys that. Um, but it, it, it was it had good lighting, which was nice. It was in Tribeca, it was a good area, but there's just a couple things I was worried about, so whatever. Oh my god, she's here, Kat! I was just telling them you're here. Katie's like, and introducing Kat. Introducing! Look how cute you look! Okay, give us the outfit details. Zara, Zara. Zara, Zara. Steve Madden. Love. love. We love Steve Madden around here. Everyone, this Cute. is Kat. This Look is at her makeup. Latest addition to the It's home. a light, yes. you know, summer vibe going on here. So cute. Guys, I'm so overwhelmed. I know. We have to. <laughs> <laughs> the gingham no. girls are all over you right now. You know what you signed up for when you Yes, know. yes, you did. But we're so happy that you're, you're here. here. Yes, so, yay. Kat brought us little gifts. I love these crease freak. Thank you. Mass, this is so thoughtful, Kat. Thank you. This is so cute. Smart. Got back from dinner, we're feeling a little silly as we always do after dinner, and we realized our backyard like has no lights in it, or there are, but we just have them all off. So we want to see if we can see stars. I didn't really want to come out here alone, so Katie... I'm coming. I'm more support. Oh wow! All right, well I'm not gonna show you guys. What am I doing? We're trying to redirect a no, bug. Go. Go no violence here, but just go. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, okay. Okay. He's, he's, he's going outside. Come on. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Shoe fly, don't bother me. No, no, no. Ah! Oh, oh, he wants to hang with the girls. Katie just got that fly out of here you without know, any scars. Pay it forward. Pay it forward. Sad to report, guys. The trauma. The past. <laughs> trauma. Brooks in her PJs. Thank you, I'm in my cozy reading era. Yeah. <laughs> If you guys can tell we are calling era like for everything. I don't need to stop. No, it's so fun I'm though. Really look cringe, though. Guys, I'm I <laughs> literally saw because I got here a day later. Obviously, I saw Katie and Brooke posting in their little matching pajama sets. I literally just brought like nothing. You were influenced. So You're I was influenced. Like, see, my my mismatched is like a fireball T-shirt and like. <laughs> 
raggedy old. Like, well, I have. You know? I oh, I, I mean, I slept in a Georgia shirt last night, but tonight I was like, guys, this shirt is so cute. It's from Boys Lie. It's like a thermal. I just, it's happy. And then I I'm wearing really my Barefoot like Dreams it. pants. Boys Lie They're is so the cool. best stuff. Boys Lie. Brooke, give me some Vogue 73 questions right now. Um, my favorite snack is probably popcorn. Um, <laughs> what is your favorite dessert? Um, lava cake. Right? No, 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 you gotta say, you gotta oh. say cookies. Actually, they're in the oven. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, right, take two, take two, okay. Okay, what's your favorite dessert? Probably Toll House chocolate chip cookies. Oh my god, how funny. Yes, I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> I love folks so many three questions with Brooke. <laughs> Guys, they're all going to bed. I have a YouTube video called What's in My Swag Bag. Oh, oh that's dead. so cute. I just want to giggle. Serious. We've been giggling for a while. It's yeah. time to go to bed. Yeah, we just had so sad. many. Brooke was like, Danielle, you should read now because I would get so but tired. I was like, I'm the only one that's not tired. And I said, <laughs> Say, no, this would be the perfect opportunity to get your reading in. <laughs> I know, because I always read and read. read two pages and I'm like, oh, I'm so tired. Like, it just makes me so sleepy. It's like, no, because you get in bed and you're already tired. This is the time to do it. Yeah, I need to be like awake spring chicken reading. Because then you, you could get like 45 minutes in right now, you know? True. Ooh. I'm inspired. Right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Ring them in. <laughs> Hashtag get Danielle reading 2022. <laughs> Good night, moon. Good night. <laughs> Good morning, Brooke. Good morning. <laughs> Look at you. Look at that. Good morning, Katie. Good morning. Am I the last one up? Oh my god, and Kat's up too? Oh my gosh, I'm the last one up. Good morning, guys. It's Thursday. All right, using the Nespresso, I brought a decaf pod. <laughs> Depending on what this Nespresso does, I may try and make it Americano and make hot water and make it more coffee-ish rather than espresso-ish. So let's see how this goes. I didn't end up needing to do the hot water because it gave me a full cup, so hopefully this is pretty good. Okay, just put on some glow screen. Might put some sunscreen on my shoulders too because we're gonna attempt to work outside if it's work out outside if it's not too hot. I just put on this new workout set and I really love it. Also, my room has really bad lighting, um, but it's from the brand Body by Brabants, I believe. I really like it. It has this really nice material. It's super thick. Obviously, the color is fire flames. So we're gonna, in a second, set up the computer and figure out the Zoom workout situation. I'm pretty excited. There's a lot happening right now. Withstand the workout. We've got it all. Poor Brooke is reading over there. We're gonna FaceTime with Jane or Zoom with Jane here. And we're gonna get our workout on. Jane! Hello! Oh wait. Hi! Hi. <laughs> oh, this is new. <laughs> I'm excited. We've got a hole. We're ready to go. So just keeping your core super tight as you do this. Keeping your arms back. Up. Oh, yeah. Let's go there, guys. Perfect. Y'all ready? Yep. All right. We're starting with a plank. You got 20 seconds. And three, two, one, and plank. Just finished the workout, it was so good. It was a little extra hard because we're out here and it's humid, but felt really good to sweat. We did like ass and abs. It was awesome. Brooke, what did you just say? I just said it's 11.25, it's time for my shirts. Oh my gosh, you and your eating non-breakfast foods. It's just, right now, I don't care to have two eggs. You don't care to have two eggs? Don't have two eggs, have chips and guac. It's 11.30, I feel like now it's like, yeah. you're by the pool. Woke up and dug, but you've done that before too. Oh, I <laughs>
I love it. Just got emails done for the day, headed out to the pool. Today's swimsuit is from Revolve. Oh kind button up and bag is also from Revolve as well. Oh, and sunglasses are Bottega. Got my little table and chairs here for my cowboy calf. The girls are vibing. Katie's about to finish Hotel Nantucket. Yes, I am. So I'm exciting. Then we'll all three have read it. All right, we're outside again. I'm here to show you guys another outfit. We all just laid by the pool and read. Um, and now we're about to head over to the East Hampton area and do some shopping. Katie wants to find an outfit for this weekend because we're going out. And um, I want to see what the stores are like here in East Hampton. I also really want like a big t-shirt that says East Hampton. I think that would be fun. So yeah, here's my little fit. I just slicked back my hair with a claw clip. Oh my gosh, it's raining. It's for sure raining. raining? Yeah, not hard, but it's raining. Maybe it's not raining in East Hampton. <laughs> we can only hope. Oh, I know. I know. I think it's just going, I'll look at the radar. I'm sure it's just going by. All right guys, so here's my little outfit for shopping. This is all borrowed from Katie, basically. Um, this dress is from the brand Fig. I'm obsessed with all their stuff because Katie literally wears it all and it's so, so cute. Like the detail here, the little ruffles, nice little midi dress, super easy to pop on. Then I'm wearing these, um, these, <laughs> this green um, Bottega Jody bag. Then these shoes I also borrowed from Katie. They're from the brand Steven, Steve Madden. And we love them, so thanks Katie. I didn't bring any flat sandals, and Katie and Brooke brought so many, so maybe that's what I'll be on the hunt for today if I find. I just brought like my hobby on flip flops, but this is the look. Katie's also wearing a dress. She's working hard over there. Editing. She's editing. Editing. And then yeah, let's go to East Hampton. <laughs> Just got back from shopping and then we were gonna like get takeout and have casual and it was like a casual restaurant we went to but we were all so hungry and we were gonna order takeout from this restaurant and we got there and they had like a ton of tables open we were like let's just sit here it was so good it was coche comedor i wanted to do like a mini haul of what we got shopping today what i got shopping we all got something i went to intermix and there's this brand of swimsuits that i've had my eye on the brand is hut hunza g and uh, I just wanted to try it on. I saw they sell it on Revolve, but they had this beautiful yellow color. So I had to get it. It's so cute. It's literally so stretchy. I didn't think it would fit, but it did. And these are the bottoms. I just love this material. Like I feel like you guys can like feel it through the camera. Like it's just so like, ugh, I love it. I think I'm gonna wear it tomorrow. So yeah, that's what I got at Intermix. And then what I was really excited about is we went to Breezen Up. They have these in a ton of like beachy towns, probably not just beachy towns, like a ton of or cities, should I say. Um, like back in the day, the first time I ever went to the Hamptons was Southampton with my aunt. We went to the Breezen Up there and I got like a spirit jersey, TBT. Um, so I got some Hamptons merch. <laughs> first thing I got, yeah, first thing I got a couple things. I got this white hat that says Hamptons with like a ponytail, I think that'd be cute. Um, you guys know I love sleeping in t-shirts, so we got this, it just says East Hampton, New York, probably gonna wear it tonight, unless my printed pajamas come in the mail. And then I also got, I'll show you guys, I can easily pack it back, I got a mug because I love drinking out of like big mugs like this and I thought it'd be fun to remember, so 
Got an East Hampton one. We're technically staying in Montauk, but we're like right next to East Hampton. I feel like we're gonna be kind of going there a lot. Um, I love this style mug. I just love drinking out of a big mug. I think it'll be a, a good memory at my apartment. Hello. And then lastly, Brooke also got this. I got this sweatshirt. I love, I think these are Champion. Yeah, Champion. Got an XL. East Hampton, New York. Like this is everything I needed more. Such a vibe, so comfy, love it. That's what I got, I just had to show you guys. Um, we had an early dinner so the sun's still out. I'm just gonna like take my makeup off. This weekend we have some friends coming to visit. Um, my boyfriend, uh, Brooke's boyfriend too. I cannot speak right now, am I okay? So we wanna like kinda tidy up around the house and clean, take out the trash, just kind of like get ready for the weekend. And yeah, so. Nothing really crazy, but yeah, I'm just gonna get comfortable. Good morning, guys. I have no idea how I look right now. <laughs> I just had some coffee, a banana, snacked a little bit, um, and about to hydrate because Katie and I are doing another workout out back. It went really well yesterday, just doing a 30 minute like conditioning with Jane on Zoom, it's the best. Ryan is currently on a train out here to Montauk he just did like an egg flip on the train but like not like he just got a bagel and flipped the bagel i don't know he's very committed to his craft he's like i must flip some sort of egg in some sort of way in some sort of crazy way on fridays um he's on the train with adam and colby because they're coming too brooke just went to go get breakfast with ben's family i'm about to just like get my workout outfit on uh, my friend Seb is in route, and yeah, so today we're just going to be hanging by the pool. We're not like going out or anything tonight, just pool day, because we love our pool so much, and I'm so excited to see Ryan and have him see the house and some of our other friends, so it should be a really good time. Kelly and Landon are also in town, so they'll probably like stop by, and yeah, so... I'm gonna end the vlog here because I wanna make sure this gets up for you guys to be able to watch it ASAP as possible. ASAP as possible, that's what ASAP stands for. I My words are just not working. Oh, this is the Amazon pajama set, by the way, that I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and stay tuned for next week for another week in my life in the Hamptons, which is so nuts. Um, I love you guys oh so much. It's been a good time here and I'm so excited for another week and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.